Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about my PM skincare routine. So a little bit about my skin. I'm 38 years old. I have combination skin. I'm oily in my forehead and that's about it really. And then um, I'd say normal um, in other places. I have had acne prone skin when I was younger. That's really in reaction quite a bit to the makeup. Um, if I use a certain type of makeup, a reaction to that. Um, although sometimes I still have hormonal breakouts, usually in my chin area or like my jaw. So, um, with that in mind, I wanted to start by giving you like the three most important piece of the pieces of advice that I have learned in all my years. The first is obviously, if you don't know already, sunscreen. So I am especially prone to, um, getting melasma, which is like darkening in certain spots of your skin. So I definitely use sunscreen. My favorite sunscreen is the Josie Marin um, Ar Argon Daily Moisturizer uh, SPF 47. This is my favorite. I absolutely love this. I use this on my children. I love it for everybody. So that's what I use every day under, under my makeup and sometimes just on its own. But sunscreen would be number one. Number two is you have to wash your face. I hated washing my face when I was younger and that was part of the issue with some of the makeup that I was using in addition to I didn't want to wash my face sometimes I would just use a makeup wipe and that just wasn't enough you can tell if it's not enough when you use a second makeup wipe and there's still makeup on it so um, watching your face and if you bring down your makeup on your neck maybe because you're matching it make sure I'm just adjusting I'm sorry make sure you also wash under your chin and your neck. Sometimes I would forget that and I would get these breakouts. I couldn't understand why. And it's just because I wasn't properly cleansing my skin. And then the third thing is actually a piece of advice that my esthetician gave me, which was you need to treat the skin that you have today. So if you have oily skin and all you keep doing is using everything to kind of dry out that oil, which you shouldn't do anyway, you eventually will get dry skin. And if you have dry skin and all you keep doing is adding moisture and moisture and moisture because you're trying to get rid of the dryness, you eventually will be have you will eventually have oily skin. So what she kept telling me is you have to treat the skin you have today. So each day after I take off my makeup each evening I really assess what is my skin feeling like is it feeling tight is it feeling more oily and then I adjust my skincare based on that but I'm gonna show you the products that I use and basically the the steps that I use them in and what I'm using right now so the first is a coconut oil cleansing um, bomb and this I get from Amazon I'll link it down below one of the women that I work with who is um, she has to be like 52 now. Um, she, uh, when I first met her about eight years ago, I thought she was 25. So her skin was unbelievable. I thought she was younger than I was. I didn't, didn't know. And then I was like, what is your secret? And she said she uses oils and she uses this. So coconut oil is from Coco and Co. Um, I use this, um, first thing to get all of my makeup off. You just take a little bit and emulsify it in your hands to put it back into the oil state <clears throat> and then I just cleanse my entire skin you have to though remove this after um, uh, coconut oil is comedogenic which means it will clog pores so you have to make sure you clean your skin after so I put this on all over and then I use a um, washcloth a dry washcloth and I towel it all off and then um, I was using for a very long time purity made simple by philosophy and I love that soap but I was on the quest to find another more affordable soap <clears throat> especially because I'm already really removing all my makeup with this so I don't need you know a super heavy duty cleanser so the one that I've been using is the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser and this one is for normal to oily skin this is a great job of just removing any of the um, oil residue and making sure that my skin and my pores are clean after that depending on the day I've started using this which is the littlest tiniest bottle I need to buy a larger version of this but this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliate um, exfoliant excuse me <clears throat> I really like this. I just wet a cotton pad and I just go over my face. I pay a special attention to where I have larger pores on both sides of my nose and in my forehead, sometimes in my chin. So basically everywhere. Um, but I really like this. My next step is I use a really expensive product, unfortunately, um, and not just one, but two, but these are um, both from Drunk Elephant. So it is the TLC Framboose, I think is how you pronounce it, glycolic night serum. 
and I mix that with the Drunk Elephant Virgin Mar um, Marula Oil. I will be using the Ordinary's Marula Oil once this is empty because I hear they're very similar, but this is a game-changing product. Um, I find that my skin is so much clearer. I find that my pores look smaller. I just think that overall this has done wonders for my skin. So this I think is 80 or $90, which is stupid, but it is something I will continue purchasing. I thin it out. I only use one pump every single night and I thin it out with one or two pumps of this. So this will last me about six months. Um, and so it's expensive, but I think I, I get some good use of it. Then if my skin is feeling really oily or really unbalanced, I sometimes will use this oil, which I get, again, from my esthetician. Um, her company is called Facewear, <clears throat> and I'll link her down below. And it's a balancing oil. And I find sometimes like this is it. Like if my skin is feeling really oily, I, I will use this after I use my serum and I feel like my skin's pretty good. If I'm feeling dry though, I will then use the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra. I don't super recommend this to be honest. Like I got it and I'm just trying to use it up. It's fine. Like it does a good job, but I mix it with something I would recommend. And this is not very expensive. This is from Mario Badescu and it's the Sell You Firm Drops. I use two or three drops of this and one pump of this and put that all over my skin. I find that it really hydrates, but to be honest, it really could just be this. Um, I find this lasts a long time and works really well. And this is another one of those products that my coworker had recommended. And then for an eye cream, um, I basically use any eye cream. When I was in my 20s, I was getting this like psychotically expensive eye cream and I thought it would like do wonders. And then I had a friend who was actually getting a facelift <clears throat> and I went with her, it was right before my wedding, and I went with her to the um, plastic surgeon and I said, hey, could you get rid of this line under my eyes? Now, I, meanwhile, I was 28 years old and um, I had one line under my eyes. And I said, could you get rid of this? Like, could, is that really a surgery that I can get? And he came really close to me and he's like, would you like to blink? <laughs> I said, yes. So. Some lines happen and they're okay and I've kind of embraced that. So now I just, instead of paying like crazy expensive eye creams because I'd like to laugh and I'd like to smile and there's going to be lines underneath, I've kind of embraced that. I just use whatever eye cream I have. So I did use the Tatcha eye cream, which was beautiful and wonderful, but it basically is working the same way. This I got in a BoxyCharm maybe. It's from Pharmacy. It's called the Do It All Total Eye Cream. It's fine. Moisturizes under my eyes. It feels fine. And then the last thing I do after I brush my teeth and floss, gotta do that. Um, I've been using the Milk um, Kush Lip Balm. I got this as a sample somewhere. I'm almost done. That's crazy. This is great. It feels nice. I mean, it's just a lip balm, but I make sure to use one every night. I also have the um, Laneige sleeping mask. I really like this. I use this. Um, you, I actually use this during the day, and I think I was told that you shouldn't because there there's some enzyme enzymes or something like that in them, but basically I do what I want to do. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's my nighttime routine. It's mainly focused on cleansing my skin, my skin really carefully, making sure I remove all traces of makeup so I don't have any buildup, then using some kind of exfoliant or sometimes two. So this and this work in that exfoliating, in that, in that exfoliating step, and then hydrating my skin. Oh, I forgot. So sometimes after I put on the oils and stuff. And, and even after I use this, my skin will still feel dry. In those cases, then I use the Drunk Elephant Protein. Um, this is great. This is a great moisturizer. And I have even used this in the morning, but since I've been really careful about using the SPF, I find that that moisturizes my skin enough in the morning. So I don't use this in addition, but this is a great moisturizer um, at night or during the day. It's great for oily skin and also dry skin. So I will top it with this. But to be honest, if my skin doesn't feel tight, if it feels really moisturized after these other steps, then I stop. Some nights I just focus on cleansing my skin and if my skin is feeling pretty dry then, um, or it feels like I've just been messing with it too much or maybe I've exfoliated too much, then I just go to the moisturizing stuff. So I just like kind of do this and this. Other nights when I feel like I'm pretty congested with my skin, um, I've been using some makeup that is irritating me and then I'm gonna go all out for the exfoliating. So 
I really do take to heart what my esthetician told me, which is treat the skin you have today. I think if you cleanse your skin properly, then you're able to like make those decisions. Um, and I have found that since I have been being very careful about cleansing my skin and then moisturizing and exfoliating, I do find that my breakouts are much fewer um, and far between. Even at the time of the month, I don't break out the same way I used to. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any suggestions for me for future videos, um, please uh, comment below. I would love if you would subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up. And I'm hoping for my next video to film a video of what I wish I would have done with my skin differently um, as far as makeup and skincare when I was younger. So if you have any, if you have some interest in that, please let me know and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day everybody. Bye-bye.